year 13 we are on for the final final push now and this two week Easter holiday is going to be a main chunk of your vision. Now you are much luckier than when you are in year 12 or when you're in year 13 because the majority of your exams are going to be after May half term. So you actually have a lot longer than the year 12s, year 11s to do your revision. And this is good, but that doesn't mean we don't need to start now. These exams are much more high stakes, sorry, than any other exams you've had before. Now the first thing that I want you to do is probably going to sound a bit weird but what I want you to do is to go and look at the clearing websites and think about what course you could get onto if you didn't get the grades that you needed to get into your chosen university. I know this sounds like a really really weird thing for me to ask you to do and I literally only want you to spend half an hour doing it but what I want you to recognise is that if you do not get your grades you have lots and lots of options. And hopefully that'll take a little bit of the stress, a little bit of the pressure away and maybe you won't feel quite so stressed and manic and horrible during this time. We still need to work really, really hard. We still have a lot to do. But I just want you to know that if it all goes wrong, you do have a lot of options out there. It is not the end of everything. You really need to spend your time focusing on practice questions. Whether these are going to be short answer questions, like the ones over on my website, or whether these are going to be papers, predictive papers, practice papers, workbook papers, anything that you can get your hands on. Papers are really, really going to be the best way to do things. Now the really good thing about the A-level specifications is that they are very, very closely aligned across exam boards. So what you can do once you've done all the practice papers from your exam board is go and have a look at the other exam boards. Now there are going to be a few topics which come up in other exam boards which don't come up in yours please do not let this freak you out. If you think it is going to freak you out, then maybe doing other exam board's papers isn't going to be the best idea. But with the changing specifications, we don't actually have a lot of practice papers for you. And sometimes things that are not quite perfect, other exam board's papers, are still better than nothing. You are going to have an exceptionally long holiday after this with your exams ending in June and probably not starting university till late September, October time, so you have that to look forward to. And I do want you to spend a little bit of time looking forward to it, not being horrendously stressed the entire time. Go and watch some travel vlogs on YouTube, um, they're nice, I really like them. Um, but please focus all your vision on practice papers, improving your exam technique, looking what um, the mark schemes are like, where you get marks and where you lose marks and focus on improving those. Good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way.